the Irish last kicker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, the Raw Women's Champion, Becky Lynch. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box. And she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here in WWE. Becky Lynch should be prosecuted for improper use of the metal horns out here dressed like something out of an H.G. Wells novel. I think the look of confidence on the face of Seth Rollins says it all. He is ready. Rollins, one of the greatest of this generation. And her partner from Davenport, Iowa, Universal Champion, Seth Rollins Champion. Seth Rollins has made a career out of taking risks and seizing opportunities. Seth Rollins has been a multi-time champion, a Money in the Bank ladder match winner, debuted as part of the Shield with Reigns and Ambrose. The King Slayer set for action. And their opponents, first from Chicago, Maria. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting teams ready to go here tonight in tag team action. And I can tell you that the entire tag team division has eyes on this match right now. That's how big this one is. This is the one this crowd has been waiting for, guys. Tag team action coming up. I can't wait, Michael. Like this crowd, I've had my eyes on this match ever since it was announced. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. 
Doesn't get any better than this. We're about to witness tag team action at its finest, fellas. A lot of times you see champs dial it back a bit when the title's not on the line, but I don't expect to see that from her here. Thunderous slam. A knee drop. Ooh. Stop! Good grief! This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. What a stomp! Good grief! Knee drop, slam down hard. The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus was a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled a double countout. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damaging behavior. I think it's a good idea, something perhaps Mr. McMahon might want to consider. This might be it! Oh, my! Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. And the appointed official for the match needs to do the job they're paid to do. I don't think it's that much to ask. Axe Handle finds the mark. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Heart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. Painful attack focused on the chest. Beautiful technique. Nailed it. Oh, man, a little extra luster behind that kick. Corey, a few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nail. Schoolboy, no, rolls the ball, super kick! There it is. We're looking at complete domination here. What a stomp. Good grief. Oh, man, a face scrape with his boot. Boom, what impact. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner. And Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. Look at this. She can do no wrong here. Boom. Beautiful. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Slap! Oh, no, you didn't. 
Yes, she did. Oh, nasty impact. Point of the elbow, nailed it. What a stomp. Cook. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. You gotta believe this one's over. Vicious attack. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Oh, right to the face. Go! No! Hilarious. Oh, no. Becky Lynch just got outclassed. This is going to frustrate Becky Lynch. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got a tag out of the match? Getting that separation, she counters before it's too late. Going to have a hard time stopping Becky when she's doing this. Oh, and a snap there. That'll give you a whiplash. <laughs> Just breaking down the opponent. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Incredible drop. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Seth Rollins with the tag. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. Seth Rollins in a very difficult spot here. If she's not careful, she's going to find herself in some serious trouble here. I don't know how much longer she can go on absorbing all this punishment. She needs to find a way to make it to her corner and make the tag. Look at her go. Crucifix, head scissor. Boom, right to the jaw. Oh, you can pick up your teeth in section 112. What a stomp. Good grief. Over the last few years, the tag team scene in WWE is hotter than it's ever been. One of the teams that has shined brighter than any other. She might have it. Harsh impact. Ooh, what impact. She can close the door here. Ooh. you got to believe this one's over. The tag team competition right now is as heated as it's ever been since the Attitude Era. Everywhere you look, there's another tremendous tag team combination looking to make a run at the WWE Tag Team Gold. When we talk about the New Day, the team won a fatal four-way match in their second tag team title reign in 2015. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Beautiful technique. I don't know how much more of this he can take. Her opponent is clearly getting the best of her here. Well, this is where we're going to find out what these women are made of. They appear to be absolutely drained, but I'm willing to bet there's no quit in them. Oh, that's just insulting. Oh, nasty impact. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Looking for the win. Ah, strike. Man, she knows how to make a comeback. She's looking at it. She's got her back against the wall now. This is not at all how she threw this thing up, guys. I'm not used to seeing this. These women have... Whoa, she escapes the stretch. I sound surprised, Cole. Come on. There's no way she was going to tap. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. What does Becky Lynch have to do at this point to stay in the match? You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. She's taking on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. Boom, what impact. Will it be? Two. And she kicks out at two. Becky's as beautiful as an Irish landscape and as tough as an Irish stick. Jumping, looking for the exclamation point. It doesn't look like she's going to get her to tap here. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. This might be it. 
Oh, my. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. Ooh, what impact. Oh, and she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. This could be it. Man, that hurt the back. Spine rattling. That's all she wrote, fellas. There's the kick out. Close call. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Avoids trouble there. What a clothesline! Ouch! Not today. I'll tell you what. This is one they'll be talking about tomorrow at Worker School, that's for sure. They got him. Got the arm. Uh, got the disarmer. This one is over. But now can Becky Lynch make the most of it? And we have our winners. Now let's take a look back at some of the great action. Who could forget this? Remember this? Almost forgot about this one. And last but not least, there was this. Here are your winners, Becky Lynch and Seth Rollins. Big win despite absorbing a huge amount of punishment there. Let's not overcomplicate things. This business is simple. It's all about wins and losses. And it sure looks to me like somebody has figured that out. And it looks to me like our winner is already thinking about the next match.